Hey, Triumph Nation. So excited to introduce you to today's feature movement, the squat, the king daddy, along with the deadlift of all functional movements. So I'm here with two awesome people, Lori and Holly, who are gonna help demonstrate the different versions that we use here at Triumph Fitness. And again, like you'll see, we scale any movement to any ability and limitation that we may encounter. So today we're gonna to start with Holly demonstrating a body weight squat. So anytime somebody's new to Triumph or new to exercise, we're gonna start basic body weight. And we use this also in a lot of our warmups for body weight squats. So Holly's gonna spread her feet about shoulder width or hip width apart and keeping weight in her heels. She's gonna push a cue I like to use is pretend you have a door behind your butt Push that door open as you squat down. For all of our squat-based exercises, we will squat to a depth that is comfortable for the knees. Some that's gonna be different for different people, and I get it, my knees don't like to go below 90 degrees, nor is there really an advantage to doing that. So for most people, at or above 90 degrees. Next version she's gonna demonstrate is the medicine ball. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little quick trick if you have a medicine ball of how to add load without changing the weight of the ball. So medicine ball squat, she'll pick up the ball carefully. If you didn't see, her back's at a 45 degree angle. She's gonna squat holding the ball kind of like a baby there and adding load to her forward side. So that's just adding resistance on the posterior muscles. Now. To add intensity to that, as she's squatting, she's gonna extend the ball away from her body, adding exponentially load as the ball moves away and she goes deeper into that squat. So without changing the weight, that's how you can change the stimulus. Um, third version, moving on up, and we have kettlebells that go from 10 pounds all the way up to 80 pounds. So she's grabbing, uh, I don't know what that is, 25, 20? And we're gonna demonstrate a goblet squat, at least one version. So holding a kettlebell, she is squatting just like the same movement. The movement doesn't change, we're just putting a load in different places. All right, so that's another version of uh, squats that we use. And then finally, Coach Laura in the back has a barbell on her shoulders. And we don't do a lot of barbell squats here, but when we do, we do them right. So. Coach Lloyd's gonna demonstrate barbell squats, same mechanics as before, but the load is now positioned on the shoulders. So another uh, version we do, which I'm not gonna have her demonstrate, is the front squat, where the load will be in the front, and that's a little bit more technical, and we don't do a whole lot of high-tech lifts here at Triumph, so we try to make it as usable to all walks of life as possible. So. Squat is an awesome exercise to incorporate in your routine because it uses, just like the deadlift, all the muscles of the body. So we call those total body compound lifts, multi-joint, multi-muscle. So that was our feature movement of the day, the squat, total body compound exercise using all the muscles of the body. And that's why we like to use it here at Triumph. And regardless of where you're at, incorporate that into your exercise routine and we'll catch you next time.